Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is for the sign of Aquarius. This is Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for at any time in July. It may not resonate the very day that you watch it. This is kind of like a preview. Um, so keep that in mind. And this reading will not be for every single person that watches it. I have to say that because we get some people that really don't understand. So I just put lotion on my hand, so I do apologize. But anyway, uh, what do we have for Aquarius for the month of July? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could be for Jupiter as well. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. What do we got for Aquarius? The garden and the gate. We got somebody here that is waiting. It's like waiting for some sort of arrival. There's an opportunity to go. There's an opportunity to stop waiting and go. But we got somebody here that's waiting for somebody. Waiting for the right time. There's a lot of beauty around. There's a lot of beauty around, but, you know, it's almost like somebody can't see the beauty. It's like there's a transformation on the horizon, but you might have to go through down that path by yourself. You know? I'm just saying. Now, there's an opportunity for freedom as well. So I think that... You know, somebody is is probably just about getting sick of waiting or something like that. There's 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 not. I mean, the grass might be greener on the other side. Maybe maybe somebody isn't realizing that, or they're they're still maybe you're waiting for somebody to change or waiting for something to happen when there's an opportunity to go through that gate to go to go to wherever it is that you need to go. Like you know. The opportunities are endless, okay? There's endless opportunities waiting for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, there's a butterfly. Butterflies are a sign of transformation, you know? Maybe you're going through a transformation, and maybe you need to take that path by yourself. But anyway... What do we have for Aquarius? There's insecurities here. Somebody could be dealing with a person that is emotionally unavailable some, where there's no relationship growth. You know? Yeah, somebody is really discontent sad, you know, focusing on a hurtful situation or a loss, loss of a friendship or a loss of a marriage or a loss of a relationship when there's an opportunity for love. You know, I think there's an opportunity for love once you cross that barrier. You know, there's a barrier. Somebody is is blocking. It's like they're blocking abundance of some sort. Maybe there's, you know, now this is a victim mentality. Somebody is allowing themselves to be a victim of their circumstances. Now this is a new opportunity, a new path. That There is a new path in front of you if you could just find your, your backbone to do what's right for you. Okay? You know, that's what this is. There's a, there's, a, there's a big, huge opportunity, like, right in your hands or right in front of you. you got to be practical here. You need to take charge of your life. You know, starting over isn't easy, but sometimes that's what you need to do to get the biggest reward. So right around the corner, some of you may be deciding to go down that new path even though you know it's not easy to do 
getting unstuck. Some of you are stuck. Some of you have been stuck. So the overall energy is moving on, getting to that better place, allowing this transition to happen. This is a time of moving forward, moving, moving ahead, you know, leaving the troubled situation behind. So some of you are probably deciding to move on, or at least you're thinking about it. I feel as though, you know, you guys have been stuck in a situation that has, there's been some lack, there's been a lack of relationship growth, or there's been a lack of reciprocation, maybe you've been begging for some attention, or you've been begging for, you know, somebody to give you the time of day, and they just haven't been doing that. You may have a new suitor, somebody that is younger than you, somebody that is better suited for you, somebody that you know, is very fiery, somebody that is very passionate, perhaps you, you know, you've, this is manifestation and this is manifestation, perhaps you, you know, have called in somebody that is better suited for you, you know, and, but there's a fear, you know, there's a avoiding challenge here. You know, so you need to take action to bring success to your life, to bring peace to your life. So I feel like for a lot of you, you have been investing in a situation that, you know, hasn't been growing and you're probably getting sick of it. You're probably getting sick of waiting for whoever this person is to change. You're probably thinking about getting unstuck. I think that... You know, maybe you're thinking about relocating or planting your seeds some, someplace else. I also have to mention that, you know, perhaps somebody has come into your life that, you know, or you're thinking about somebody that, you know, you dealt with a long time ago, you know, and you're attracted to this person, but perhaps you're involved with somebody else and you're, you're afraid to, or you don't want to deal with the conflict of, you know, dissolving that situation whatever it is I don't know where this message is coming from but I think there's a new opportunity for love here with somebody that is better suited for you or somebody that you are very attracted to but you may be stuck in a situation or a circumstance where you maybe are already in a relationship and you you need to find the resources within you to you know do what's right for you you know and some it's hard to do that when when you've involved another person maybe you're worried about you know hurting this other per hurting somebody hurting the person that you're with now i don't know i don't know i don't know who this message is for but i think for a lot of you you've been avoiding the challenge of of uh going down this new path following your heart you know i think that you realize that the grass is probably greener someplace else but you're you know, the investment of time that you have invested in some sort of relationship is holding you back. You know, I feel like you uh, you may receive some sort of invitation or, a, or good news or you have received, you know, an opportunity from somebody that really, really excites you and you really want to take action, but there's there's this element of avoiding challenge you know it's like you don't there's there's a, a need to um do what you have to do for yourself okay for lack of a better word you know i think that you are going to receive that you are probably receiving some sort of message from somebody or you're hearing messages from above, or I don't know, but this is these are these are messages. So you may receive a, a message from somebody that really excites you, okay? And I think that you, you you need to find your confidence and your courage to face this troublesome situation that you have allowed yourself to stay in. You know, you've you've probably been through a period of confusion because 
I think that you've invested some time and energy in a relationship that has gone nowhere. And I know I'm repeating myself, that that's pretty clear. I think that um, the right one, whoever this reading is for, is right around the corner. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you, you have a golden opportunity waiting for you to seize the opportunity. But the magician takes action to shed the old, to bring in the new. So there's something that needs to be shed. You need to let go of something to get this golden opportunity. And I think the avoiding challenge is the biggest issue here. You know? You need to find your strength and your courage to go down the path that's best for you. Anyway, for some of you, you may have a fire sign, you know, that is very attractive to you. Somebody that really excites you, that is around you. And, you know, you need to you need to break free. You need to break free of some sort of circumstance that you, that is holding you back. You need to find your courage, whatever that means. Whoever this person is, this person is, um, just focus this in. This person is very, um, vibrant. This person is very passionate. This person is very, um, lively. And I think that that excites you. Um, you need to be courageous here, okay? You need to be courageous. You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss of your life. Okay, um, you have to take action to bring success. It's like God or angels or somebody is offering you this big opportunity for love, but you're not seeing it because you're focused on some sort of discontent situation. I think for some of you, there's something that has come to the surface that or come to fruition that you planted along its seeds that you have sowed a long time ago have now come to full potential. You know what I'm saying? You have a new exciting opportunity, a new exciting path right in front of you. Here we go. There's that crossroads. Two paths. Decisions, options, the grass is greener on the other side. What are you waiting for? There's fear. There is great personal fear here, right here. Personal fear of taking action to follow your own path. You know, wherever you're at, there's a lack of contentment. And I think that you see a big, huge opportunity that you want. Thinking about leaving, thinking about it. I think that you guys are really, really thinking about it. You're thinking about going after that big, huge opportunity that is like right in front of you. It's like right around the corner, Aquarius. Like literally around the corner. But there, there's, there's a grievance here. That's what the Five of Cups is. There's a grievance. There's, there's guilt. Perhaps you may feel guilty. There could be some regrets. You could be experiencing some emotional difficulty over letting go. That's what I see. You have an opportunity for the Two of Cups if you could only see it for love, for uh, a union that is really suited for you, very well suited for you. I think this person is a little bit younger than you, whoever it is. Um, a little bit, not a lot. Now I've shuffled and this is on the bottom. This is reluctant to take that new approach. Staying in the troublesome situation out of fear, fear of conflict. We have some pain here. This is defeat. This is loss. This is the end. It's 
it's almost like somebody is is feeling is dying you know they're dying inside this is a level of emptiness suffering seriously we got somebody who is suffering staying in a troublesome situation because of, this is fear the nine of wands reversed you need to face that fear you need to find those resources within you to face your fears about what you need you have an opportunity right now you have is you have this path that that is right in front of you but avoiding disruption you don't want to deal with any kind of uh What's the word for it? Disruption, upheaval, chaos in your life. All you are doing right now is biding your time. Because this false sense of security, this false foundation is going to crumble. No matter what. What are you waiting for? Some of you have been avoiding challenge. You've been avoiding upheaval. And it's like it's killing you. It's causing a level of emptiness. You're thinking about walking away, but it's like you don't have the courage. Find the courage. Find the courage to do what's right for you. If you step over that edge, It's like the the chaos and the fight will end, okay? There will be no nothing to fight about, okay? Even though you think it's going to be a fight, you won't need to walk on eggshells anymore. You won't need to put your guard up anymore. You'll be able to let your guard down. And I think that's your you're fearful. You're fearful of you know, what is this person going to do? What If you step over this edge, I think you're fearful of the fight. That's what this is. You're fearful of what they're going to do to hurt you. This is wasting your time. Wasting, it is. Three of Wands reversed. This is wasting time. You're not seeing that you, or you, maybe you do see it. You have a better opportunity. You may mis be misjudging this person that you're holding on to, thinking that they're really going to fight. They're really going to fight with you. But I think that, you know, this is dropping it. This is a con making a conscious change to drop it. Personal freedom. This is freeing yourself. You know, and I think that if you would take the take the opportunity that you are being presented to free yourself, I think that there could be a fight. There could be an argument that pops up that gives you this opportunity to break free. This might be your out, your opportunity to go. This is this is your your pivotal moment to break free, to step over that edge. To let this go. This is let this go. It's overwhelmed you. It's made you feel lost and empty or whatever for too long. It's time for a change. You've evolved. You're not the same person. Everything happens for a reason. I think that, you know, this is balance awaits and this is about balance. It's time to bring balance and peace and harmony back to your life. I feel like this month you are probably going to be making a huge change. And I think there's an opportunity to come together 
with somebody that suits you very well. But you're going to have to make some compromises to get what you want. So, I really feel like Aquarius that you have been biding your time waiting for somebody to change but it's not going to happen and I think in the, in the process you know in this period of waiting you have changed and I think that you have a big huge opportunity like right around the corner and you may already know who it is or you already may know what it is but you're going to need to find the strength and the courage to go after it and let go of this situation that has caused you so much grief because I see grief you could be dealing with a really a petty individual who just likes to fight and argue and whine I think you're ready to let go I think there's going to be an instance that you have been trying to avoid you may have been trying to avoid a disaster well I, went, I don't think this is going to be as bad as you think. I don't think this letting go is going to be as bad as you think. So anyway, that's what I see. That's what I got. I feel like there's going to be, you know, a new opportunity presented to you that really fits. It fits. But in order to accept this opportunity, you're going to have to face your fears. And stop waiting for whoever it is that you're waiting for to change. Deal with the conflict. Because something big and huge, a huge opportunity is right around the corner. And it's time, okay? With the seven of, it's time to, it's time, okay? It's harvest time. That's what this is. It's time. Don't waste it. Because eventually harvest time will pass. Somebody else might get the goods if you don't choose them, if you don't pick them. If you don't pick them, somebody else is going to come along and do it. Good luck.